spinning, spinning, spinning. What is going on, Kid Family, and welcome back to the channel. This is the finale of the 2003 Toyota Camry restoration. It was a $300 project that we ended up flipping for this amount. And I'm gonna post that amount once I sell this car. Currently, we did not sell the vehicle yet. But I'm sure that is a great profit. And I'm just gonna be pretending I'm really happy for the amount I sold it for and made money on it. But on the real guys, we picked this up. This was going to the junkyard to get scrapped. And as you can see through the videos, through the previous videos, we transformed this car to look much better. And it's definitely a decent day car. It's got moonroof, it's got power, everything, leather seats, heated seats, six CD changer, AC's working, everything is awesome. It's got all the amenities. That's my, my daily driver currently doesn't have. So I'm really excited about that. And you know, I'm just gonna give you guys a summary and overlay videos of the whole project here to sum it up for those new viewers. Essentially, the first thing we did, we bought the car, we washed it, we power washed it, thinking it has a lot of dirt and contamination on the paint, but it ended up being complete oxidation of the paint, which destroyed the car completely. All the top surfaces, wherever the sun hit, were destroyed. Hood, roof, trunk, some of the A-pillars, we're all completely destroyed so then we went ahead and once we got the car home we washed it we washed a little bit on the engine bay and whatnot cleaned it the best we could with just soap and water we started tackling some of the noises that were clunking because when i got this car it was pulling way to the right every 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 uneven road bump you would hear clunking all over the vehicle and i thought first impressions yeah the shocks are blown everything's gone but as we now know through diagnosing and fixing everything, we had a bad sway bar end link in the front driver's side and a bad sway bar end link in the rear driver's side. We also had rear sway bar bushings that were bad, so we replaced those bushings and it fixed most of the clunking. Now the exhaust had a heat shield by the gas tank which was disintegrated, it was rusted, it was just hanging there. That was contributing to a lot of noise as well. So we just got rid of that completely. We weren't able to salvage that whatsoever. The exhaust was also loose. It was missing some kind of hanger or some kind of clamp. Good thing we had our handy dandy Harbor Freight titanium flux core welder. And with a little bit of experience welding, we flux core welded that and it came out pretty good. The, the car more quieter and there's really no hint of an exhaust leak. Also coming from the exterior, we put the car on, uh, so we put the car on jack stands, we tackled all the brakes. We weren't really in the market to buy new brakes and whatnot, so we pretty much focused on refinishing these brakes, so we, we made sure we re-greased all the sliding pins, and that was the big problem. The sliding pins were all dried up, there was no juice in them left. The brakes were crimping, they were dragging while driving. The car sat for, let's say, about six months to a year, so that kind of can explain it. And that fixed some of the issues, you know. We also grinded the front discs because they had so much rust buildup on the edges where the pad was not touching, and that was just contributing to more noise and more drag. So we, we made sure we eliminated that. The driver's side piston was actually stuck it was really hard to push back in and that I thought was causing a dragging issue so we actually took the piston out we sanded the piston nice and smooth some of the rust and corrosion that was on it we removed and it was working good as new we bled the brakes just to make sure we have no air in the system and then the car drove much better but it was still pulling to the left so remember originally it was pulling to the left right now it's pulling to the left going and continuing diagnosing and it ended up being when I swapped the rear tires to the front and the front to the back that's when the drag and the and the pulling stopped so it was a bad tire I don't know what way the rear tires are 2013s the front ones are 2014s they're two different tires but it fixed the problem the car is driving straight it's just a hair to the left which I'm okay with the steering wheel just pulls uh the steering wheel just pointed a little bit to the left but i'm okay with that the car drives nice and straight we clean uh we had it we had a leak with the power steering fluid so we actually
fix that by cutting some of the plumbing and reconnecting with the hose. It was a cheap ghetto fix, but it works and it's perfectly acceptable and we're not losing power steering fluid now. Maybe just a drip here and there from the pump, but that's no big deal because I've been driving this car for a few days and the, the fluid level is consistent, so I'm not even gonna look at that. The tie rod end boot was damaged, but we, instead of replacing the boot and taking apart the whole tie rod ends and whatnot, we managed to ghetto fix that too by applying garbage seal on the bottom of the boot, zip tying it and making sure it's greased. Because it's not an axle, it's not spitting out grease. And I'm perfectly fine with that ghetto fix. Now the interior we tackled, we cleaned the hell out of this. Big shout out to LA's awesome $1 degreaser. That thing worked fantastic. It just, we re restored the interior and you guys will see that from the video. And dash was cleaned, everything was cleaned. Cabin air filter, all these accessories we kind of cleaned up. Um, and yeah, the car is driving great. I'm driving right now, no clunks in the vehicle, no problems, no alignment problems. You know, overall the, the, the car can still probably use a wheel bearing because over 40, 50, 60 miles an hour, you can hear a slight humming, which I can't really determine whether it's a tire issue, you know, old tire or a wheel bearing, but it, it definitely could be a driver's side wheel bearing, which again is $60, uh, it's going to cost you $60 to replace. So I'm going to leave that to the new owner to replace. If he wants to, I can negotiate on the price. Other than that, I love the car. Car drives like a dream, nice and smooth suspension. And I'll probably give you guys a little zero to whatever pool right here. Let me turn the AC off. Crack the window open for you guys so you can see. We'll put it in first gear. I learned how to put this thing in first gear. Finally, you got to go down to the right. And we might get some tire squeal from this. So we'll see. But yeah, the car the car drives great. Pulls hard. Shifts good. Not, no problems with the transmission. No problems with anything. And to think this car was going to go to the junkyard is, is kind of blows my mind. But we restored it. It works, I'm happy. Hopefully the new owner is enjoying it right now as I speak. If I won't be able to sell the car, most likely what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna keep this thing for the winter. And let's see, we almost got a green light here. Let's go. Spinning, spinning, spinning. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's a cop, <laughs> and that's a cop in front of me. But yeah, as you guys can see, this car moves, man. I'm not sure if this car has LSD transmission, but it feels like it does because it pulls very linearly. I got even some torque steer in the vehicle here. All right, let's go. She's moving, she's moving, reckless. All right, here we go. Well, anyway, guys, I'm about to show the vehicle to the original owner where I picked it up from to see the transformation. I'm sure they'll be surprised and they'll be like, whoa, we were gonna junk this car. I'm excited to see their response on this car and this whole process. But thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for watching these videos. I appreciate you. Leave a thumbs up um, and if anything, catch you guys on the next build. Peace. I ain't here for the money. I ain't here for the fame. So it might be nice to own a jet plane. I'm a for you, come along and see it's true. But the world is pretty cold, you might need a sweater too. I'ma put a ride on ya. Kid from California, trying to make it in life. It's school that never taught ya. Dreams of my own.